A warehouse engulfed in flames after Russian bombs rained down overnight Saturday in the Ukrainian city of Chernobyl. The attack came on the evening of the popular Eurovision Song Contest in the home city of Ukraine's contestants in this year's show. Ukraine had widely received public support to host the competition, but due to the war, the show took place in Britain. The attack underscores Ukraine's plight for additional and advanced weapons capabilities, a call answered over the weekend by Germany. Sunday in Berlin, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz welcomed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky with military honors in Zelensky's first visit since the start of the war. The meeting follows Germany's announcement Saturday of a new package of military aid nearly matching all previous aid to date. The German government pledged nearly $3 billion of new support, including anti-aircraft systems, ammunition, and its sought-after Leopard tanks. At a joint news conference in Berlin, Schultz said Germany would support Ukraine as long as necessary. Those responsible for this terrible war of aggression must be held accountable. No state in the world may invade another country. No one may murder, plunder or kidnap children. That is why we are working together with our partners so that Russia is held accountable. But it was Russian President Vladimir Putin spinning an alternate reality earlier this week at his country's Victory Day celebration commemorating the defeat of Nazi Germany. Putin railed against Western globalist elites whom he said were dividing society, provoking bloody conflicts and coups and destroying the traditional family values that make people human. And yet, just days later, it was Putin's forces destroying family dwellings in another attack on civilian targets of private homes and apartment blocks. Back in Berlin, Scholz and Zelensky flew from the German Chancellery on their way to Aachen, where Zelensky received the prestigious Charlemagne Prize honoring service for European unification. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.